Today I am here at DC Pianos with yet another interesting piano. These folks here at this store seem to really specialize in having unusual and interesting pianos, and this one here is no exception. Unfortunately, it's already sold, but I'm still going to take a quick look at it. I'm not going to hurt it, and I'm going to be very careful with anything that I do with it since it is sold. But I just thought it was such a unique piece that I'd do a quick little video on it. As you can see here from the name, this is a Yamaha. But it looks nothing at all like any Yamaha that I've ever seen, and probably that you've ever seen. When you think of Yamaha, at least when I think of it, I think of uh, uh, you know a gloss black uh, concert grand. Of course, there is the red one that I believe it was Elton John has, and maybe this is supposed to be like the baby version to that or something. Uh, the piano was refinished, so maybe it didn't come this way originally. But if it did, it's actually a quite nice color. Uh, I don't really think it fits on a piano, but it's a very nice color, and uh, I think it looks cool. I like how when you fold the, um, the fallboard away, it still says. Yamaha right there. It's a very interesting design of fallboard that I've never seen before in a uh, spinet sized piano. I'm not going to play a whole lot on it since it is a sold piano. I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration of the treble here. As is common with Yamaha pianos, it has a very bright but also a very clean sound. It actually sounds pretty good for such a small piano. I really like the sound of it. And uh, it has a very interesting design down here with the legs that I've never seen on a piano like this. They start up here and then they curve around down here and then meet back into the body of the piano. There's a small little wheel down there for helping move it around. And it's kind of odd. I've never seen that before. It also only has two pedals. I believe that this piano was made, uh, according to the tag here, it was made in 1959. And so that would help explain why there's only two pedals pedals here rather than the standard three that comes on many modern pianos. I also thought that I would open up this lid here to show you what the drop action of a piano looks like. So let's check that out. Now small pianos such as this one, let me move the fallboard out here so we can take a look at the drop action. Uh, drop actions are used in smaller pianos such as spinets and sometimes even slightly taller pianos. This one is about 36 inches, sometimes they're used in 40, uh, 40 or so inch tall pianos. And basically the way it works is rather than the action, the back of the key lifting up action components, what happens is the back of the key, when I press a key, it lifts up this long rod here that then goes down inside of the action and then pulls up on the uh, piano's action. And uh, this is a slightly different design than I usually see. Um, the the uh, the drop actions I'm familiar with, they have a, a hole here in this action piece here that this metal rod will then slip into and tightens up with a grommet. Mm -hmm. And that, that design is extremely annoying to work on, and I have no idea how uh, easy this one here is to work on. A lot of the technicians really dislike drop actions because they can, the style I'm talking about can cause lots of noises, but I'm not hearing any kind of noises with this one, which is, it seems to be a nice design and it very it works very well. It also has a really light feel to it, which is very nice. And uh, another interesting thing about the inside of the piano here is the mechanism for moving out the uh, fallboard. It has this strange like cross piece here that moves when you pull it in and out. And it just, this just looks cool. It also has a really nice feel. Moving it in and out, it feels like it works very well and there's no kind of uh, resistance or anything. It's a very well designed piece and uh, it's very nice. So let's close this up and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video of this unusual 1959 Yamaha piano and uh, if the owner of this piano is watching this after I've messed with it, uh, hopefully you don't mind me. Uh, I'm just, you know, making a video and I think it's a super cool piece and I think it's super cool that you have it. It's a really neat piano. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I've got lots of videos on my channel of more normal pianos and also more unusual pianos even than this one. So you can go check out those videos. If you like them, you might want to think about subscribing and if you do that, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.